I'm gonna hey. just swing. Hey. 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 Oh, get it. Square. Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Cool Man 100X. Welcome back to another Back for Blood Tips Trick videos to help you guys get better at Back for Blood. So, we got a new update, guys. Man, I told you guys I was gonna come with the updates until the new one comes out. So, the first we're gonna be going over is the new exclusive weapon skins. I don't like this color, so I'm just letting you guys know there's new weapon skins that you can get out here. So, it's definitely a little bit different for the machete and stuff. I think it looked kind of cool for the machete, so, you know, not my color. I don't really like it. But these are all the weapon skins, just to show you guys how it looks. You get 12 new exclusive weapon skins that is for the DLC so definitely be on the lookout for the new weapon skins if you want to get these they're definitely up there and next we're going to be going over the weapon that's in here called the lockjaw we actually got a breakdown for the lockjaw it's going to be damage dealt to armor is also dealt to the ridden health so definitely a good thing to have man I'm not really into the sniper type of thing but if you want to use it this would be the I guess the attributes to it for the lockjaw. Definitely utilize this in the future if you're utilizing it. It's pretty cool if you do. Not a good sniper guy, mostly a melee and uh, assault rifle and SMG guy. So definitely if you're looking into making builds around this, this would be the, I guess, sniper to go for. <laughs> so yeah man uh third we're going over eight new exclusive skins for the characters these are the eight new exclusive skins for the characters pretty cool i like the army one i thought it's pretty cool and the school girl one too as well and mom looking like the old rocker chick so definitely look into looking at these exclusive new eight exclusive new skins that's available for it man just giving you guys an update of what's up but we getting to the nitty-gritty is my favorite fourth thing Prophet Dan. We actually got a breakdown on how the character is for Prophet Dan, man. We actually got the attributes and the special techniques for him. The first is going to be reviving teammates, providing random effect. The second is going to be plus team damage, resistance, and knockback immunity. And the next one is going to be teammate incapacitation trigger enhanced combat proudness. Now, for this character, it's mostly a team based character. So, but Prophet Dan, you pretty much organizing the team around you and actually helping them around you. So this is pretty much a team based character. So I definitely want to get into using Dan very heavy with this and making a build around it. And then knock back immunity. That is crazy. So if you have that with the team damage, I'm thinking that team damage resistance. I'm wondering how the, what the amount is going to be for that too. So we can definitely break down and Prophet Dan builds as well. I do got some builds coming for you guys as well about that too as well. So be on the lookout for that as well and my exclusive bills will be on my patreon if you're looking for that too as well so profit dan is pretty much they gave us a good expansion for the breakdown of profit dan i really like him i think he's kind of cool if you probably being a team-based player i think this player would be good i think this character would be good for um utilizing team play for randoms because when you play with a lot of randoms i think dan would be the perfect guy to use especially if you're using like melee weapons and stuff like that but i think dan would be the one to use for you guys and definitely utilize him as well just giving you guys a quick update i hope y'all enjoy my updates and the edits that i can put for you guys so, I'm going to catch you guys on the next update, or I'm going to catch you guys when the game drops if they have any more updates. So, I'm out of here, guys. Deuces.